the problem is the institution, not black people. I mean, it's how they perceive black people, how they treat them. Michael Lenore is a doctor, a former medical chairman, and the founder of the African American Wellness Project. But even those accolades didn't exclude him from what he says was discrimination when he was prepping to receive surgery for cancer, but was stopped and told he would have to come back at a later date. I had prostate cancer, and I went to a major university, and a woman comes down and says, you know, we haven't checked everything. We haven't checked all of your uh, insurance information. And I had to get up off the table and get dressed and reappoint. A new study from the California Healthcare Foundation shows that one in four black patients avoids healthcare for fears they will be treated unfairly or with disrespect. But for those that do visit, one in three changes their behavior to put the provider at ease, whether that's tailoring speech or becoming more deferential. We have a culture, uh, we usually confront things that are uh, difficult, but when you're sick, you know, you tend to take a back seat to the driver. Uh, in the sense that uh, that you know you don't want to you don't want to upset anybody you don't you know you know you overlook some things because you're concerned that will affect your outcomes ultimately. In 2021, the Urban Institute published an analysis that found black patients are much more likely to suffer problems related to surgical procedures than white patients. And a study published in January by the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute found that older black and Hispanic patients with advanced cancer were less likely to receive opioid medications for pain than white patients. All things Dr. Lenore believes need to be addressed by patients who he says feel further undermined. Most of them are embarrassed that they were treated like that because, and that they sometimes accepted that simply because they were afraid it would affect outcomes. You know, you make them mad and maybe you might not make the right decision or it may not give you the kind of, you know, consideration that your problem requires. A 2021 UCLA study found the proportion of U.S. physicians who are black is 5.4 percent, an increase of only four percentage points over the last 120 years. It's why Dr. Lenore says change won't come from those in charge, rather those who are on the other end of the equation. I'm one of those people who don't do not believe that this system is going to be corrected from the top down. We had had all healthy, healthy people 2000, 2005, 2010, 2020, and the situation in chronic disease, the gap between the health of blacks and brown and people has not changed. So I believe that it has to start from the bottom up. Dan Grossman, Scripps News, Los Angeles.